the deal of the day is Celgene and Bristol Myers. Uh, Bristol Myers, one of the big biotech companies, buying Celgene. Uh, sorry, one of the big pharma companies buying Celgene, one of the big biotech companies, uh, to the tune of seventy-four billion dollars. Uh, Celgene shareholders, which I believe you are one. Yes, uh, I am. Um, Full disclosure. Here's what here's what you're going to get in this deal. You're going to get one share of Bristol Myers stock. You're also going to get fifty dollars in cash for every share of Celgene. How are you feeling? Uh, I guess I feel better than I did before the day started in terms of Celgene, which has had a rough go of it. Uh, and uh, Bristol Myers is selling off quite a bit, so I and other shareholders will be getting that share of Bristol Myers if we want to keep it, um, as well as the fifty dollars in cash if the deal goes through. I don't have any reason to believe that it won't, but you know, time will tell. Some things do fall apart. It's expected to close in the third quarter. Yeah, and we're. I think just at the beginning of the first quarter, right. so there's plenty of time for <laughs> events to supersede. As they say in sports, there's plenty of time to blow this lead. Yeah, uh, and well, it's not that much of a lead. Uh, it's already so. Bristol Myers is down quite a bit, and I guess the question for shareholders is: if the deal goes through, do you want to hold on to this share of Bristol Myers that you're going to get in replacement for your? Share of Celgene, market doesn't like what Bristol Myers has done, seemingly, uh, which is understandable from the traditional uh, metric, which is an acquiring company's shares go down, and the acquire the acquired company's shares go up, and that's what's happening. and And for the last couple of years, you saw that pattern broken a lot, where the acquirer was going up, sort of no matter what. Everybody liked everything in the stock market, but we're seeing, first of all. A day in which uh, you know there's a certain amount of uh, uh, you know pessimism in the market, and I think that uh, Bristol Myers is pretty interesting at uh, the price that it's going for right now. So Bristol Myers, just to be uh, to put some numbers around it, stock is down about 12 percent today on this news. Celgene up 25 percent. Uh, I was talking with Shannon Jones, who hosts uh, one of the hosts of our industry focused podcast. She hosts the uh, Wednesday episode, which is about healthcare. So, uh, if you're not uh, already listening to that podcast, definitely check it out um, because next Wednesday, uh, Shannon's definitely going to be talking about this deal and probably talking about it in a way with far greater intelligence than you and I are talking about it. I feel really oh, good about that. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but one that's of the, damning with faint praise. Uh, <laughs> so I was chatting with her before, and I said, you know, is is what we're seeing with Bristol Myers just sort of the traditional, as you indicated? Hey, they're the acquiring company. Maybe some people think they spent a little too much money, and that's why the stock is down. She said she thought that was part of it, but also that uh, Bristol Myers had been sort of languishing on its own, and there were some who thought that Pfizer might be making a bid to buy Bristol Myers. So, some of what we're probably seeing with uh, Bristol Myers selling off today is the you paid too much, and some of it is the uh, I was hoping you guys were going to get bought. Yeah, yeah, you paid too much. We hate stocks today, and um, now Pfizer isn't going to overpay for you. So you know, we're out of here. Some some people would say those three factors make up a perfect storm. Yeah, idiots are the ones who would say that. <laughs> Speaking of idiotic notions, um, do you think this is the opportunity for Bristol Bristol Myers to get rid of the squib in its name? Um, the yeah, whole Harry Potter thing has uh, kind of undermined the the attractiveness of that. Uh, yes, because in the Harry Potter universe, a squib is what is someone is is a person born of magical parents, but they do not have magical abilities. Do I have that right? You do have that right. Okay, so um, yes, I, I think you're right in part because some people on Twitter today were already starting to throw out polls in terms of like, okay, Bristol Myers Squib is buying Celgene. What what should the new name be? Should it be? Bristol Jean? Should it be Cell Squib? Cell Squib. Not. I don't think that was no. getting many votes. No. Bristol Myers Cell Jean. I. I. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my. I've got my share of Bristol Myers to deal with now. We're joking about this, but make no mistake, there are oh. actual conversations taking place 
at Bristol Myers Squibb headquarters in New Jersey today, if they haven't been going on already, about what is the name going to be, what is the branding going to look like. Oh yeah, money is being spent. Yes, and if they get it wrong, you will be there to kick them in the teeth for a long time. I and others. Yes. <laughs> if we do anything on this podcast, it's take shots at people who really blow it when it comes to branding. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and you know what? You've won a few of those we, battles. We had a couple of victories with uh, certainly Trunk. The people uh, who who came up with Trunk saw the error of their ways and went back to Tribune Media. So good for them. And Oath, is that still around? No, they also saw the error of their ways even more quickly than the Trunk people did, and they went with Verizon Media. What's number one on your hit list now? I don't know. We'll see what these people come up with.